I used to listen to a lot of reggae music in Berkeley, California. I used to go listen to hip hop shows, and I would kick it with the Rastas out there, man. The Rastas was cool, real Jamaican cats, smoking bomb ass weed right there in Berkeley, People's Park. Yeah. Back in the day, that's how I have a good connection, man. Hello. 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 Marcos. Marcos. Yeah. Welcome to Medellin. Ah, gracias <laughs> mucho. Mor Mauricio? Mauricio. Yeah. Medellin. Do you like Medellin? Sí, sí, sí. Muy interesante la ciudad y la gente. Sí. Muy amable. La temperatura es eh, tranquilo. Eh. ¿Sabes Jamaica? Sí, Usain Bolt. Usain Bolt, yeah. ¿Te gusta reggae? Sí, también. ¿Qué es tu favorito artista de Jamaica? El clásico de Don Marley. Don Marley. ¿Y tú vas a ser cantante famoso o no? Sí. ¿Tú? Mi nombre es Marcus Bird. Mi nombre de artista es Birdimos. Ah, felicitaciones. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Friend, nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah, gracias, man. <laughs> gracias, muy gracias. So. All right, we're here. Uf. Alright, so hi guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Marcos Bird, aka Birdimus, and I'm here on a trip in Colombia. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please click like and subscribe. You know, it helps me to grow, right? I'm aiming for 3,000 subscribers, I'm at 2,820, I think. And yeah, if you like what you see, like and subscribe and comment. So this is a luxury mall I'm gonna explore here. And you know, I've never been to a luxury mall in Colombia. I know a regular mall but it's always been built as a luxury mall so let's check it out. This is kind of cool. Alright so we're here in El Tesoro Mall right now and it looks like they're setting up for Christmas. And I've been kind of really cooped up in the apartment doing these videos takes time but um I'm not really sure what I'm looking for here. No, one thing I did was when I was packing to leave and come here, I left a bunch of stuff that I could have worn that was like good to wear. You know, I left like a couple long sleeve shirts, I left a couple sweaters, you know, which would have been great in the nighttime. I know I am here at the mall seeing if I can find something, maybe. But I think this mall is a bit more upscale, so I don't really know. But we'll see, you know, I'm just gonna walk around and take a look. I don't know any of these stores. Except Raven Victoria's Secret. Oh. Oh. Alright, so the last time I was in a mall like this, I think it was in Bangkok four years ago in Thailand. I went to a couple malls here looking for stuff to buy. Because I'm actually curious to see the Raven store and what they have in there, which is right behind me. Um, but yeah, man, so keeping it moving. Colombia. Uh, tu, tu tienes uh, Ray-Ban Wayfarer? Wayfarer, sí. El premio de lo clásico? Sí, 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 claro. Mm. Mira, se le está. Es lo más cl clásica. Clásica es en talla pequeña, ah. que es la lente verde con armazón. Ah, Negro. ¿Qué es el precio? Bueno, mira, esta es polarizada, esta es de 940. También la tenemos sin polarizar en 700. Se 700. 700 mil pesos. 700 mil pesos. Sí, señor. Comprende. 175 dólares. 100. 175. Oh, semi. Dólares. Oh, es mal. Dólares. No es mal. No, eh, incluso es muy similar al precio. Hay, hay veces dicen que es más económico acá que en las oh. otras. Ah. Oh. Ray-Ban Wayfarer, that's like the classic, classic. Classic, classic. Yeah. Gracias por la información. Dale, no te preocupes, con muchísimo gusto que te vayas. Bien. Gracias, gracias. Yeah. Yo, you see what I'm saying? Those Ray-Bans were like $70 US, right? US, right? And normally Ray-Ban Wayfarers, the originals, are about $150. 50% off, I don't know why, you know? So that's pretty cool. I mean, I have Ray-Bans already that I'm wearing, but I kind of want to get a pair of Wayfarers, you know what I'm saying? But, um, 
these things are pretty cool. I don't think I'm gonna find the kind of store I'm looking for here. I just wanted like one or two cheap long sleeve shirts to wear at night, you know? The thing about the malls though that I saw in Bangkok were like the malls in Bangkok were like works of art. Like they were crazy, crazy, crazy works of art. Like when you go in there, you're like, your mind is blown. Now in here is actually very nice. It doesn't feel the same for some reason. I don't know why. It smells good, you know, we have like nice tiles and stuff, but there's a difference. You know, it feels like a standard mall, even though it's a luxury mall. You know what I mean? But maybe because I've seen some of the top tier malls in some other countries, this feels more normal. Oh, here we go, H&M, this is what I want. I found it. All right, so I'm in H&M right now, which globally is just a great, this is the best place to buy stuff. This is where I went when I was in um, Bangkok, I went to H&M. I'm pretty sure I can get some stuff here. So I'm in the men's section now, and I'm gonna look for... My mission is to get long sleeve shirts for the night, like maybe two long sleeve shirts. All right, let's go. Really only getting like, I want like one long sleeve shirt or one nice like, jeans jacket looking kind of shirt like the one I saw here. So maybe I'll try on the one I just took off, right? Yeah man, so we're in El Tesoro Mall. So I got myself something from H&M. It's just a, a short, a long sleeve shirt because for some reason when I was packing to come here, I had everything done. I researched the weather. I knew it was like chilly at night. I had three long sleeve shirts ready. I had a nice sweater and I didn't pack them. And I wasn't rushing, so. Oh yeah man, this mall is really really nice, you know? Okay, but what's another cool thing is that a lot of people here have their dogs with them. I find that really interesting. You know what I'm saying? Here one day. <laughs> oh yeah, see a dog here, there's a dog, right? Yeah, a lot of people have their dogs here. I've never seen people shopping in a mall with dogs. So, that must be a Colombian thing, right? So, right now I'm gonna try and eat something probably. And, um, Keep moving, bless up. All right, so I met this cool gentleman here, you know, we've just been talking about reggae. Um, he was a former Marine, now living in Medellin. Always a Marine, yeah. Yeah, well, you know, once a Marine, always yeah, a Marine. Yeah, exactly. But he's here and we're having a good, we're having a good chat, you know? Good and chat about Jamaica, about Colombia, about all kinds of But everything, and, and what's interesting is that when I was coming in the river over here, the, the driver spoke Spanish. Yeah. But he was talking about Reggae music, because I told him I was from Jamaica. Yeah, reggae music of yeah. Jamaica. Everybody has some type of connection with Jamaica because reggae music is universal. That yeah. is all over the damn world. And of course, Rastafari, Bob Marley. But not only that, just the whole reggae culture, man. Yeah. And the dance song, you know. If you're, a, if you're a part of hip hop culture like I am, uh, we listen to a lot of early reggae, you know, Sam Rags, you know, Buju Bata. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. A bomb to kill a man. You know? who's, your, who's, who's your favorite? My favorite, like, of, like all time, like Yellow Man. I like, uh, Yellow Man. I like, uh, Buju Banton. Yeah. I like Buju Banton's dope. Yeah. I used to like uh, Mr. Vegas. Remember Mr. Vegas? Yeah, yeah. He was dope too. Yeah, yeah. But as far as like roots reggae, man, uh, I like fucking, uh, so like, I like like Black Yuhuru, yeah, Black yeah. Yuhuru. I like Burning Spear. Yeah, yeah. Spear is still very spiritual, man. Yeah. I used to like Steel Pulse. Yeah. It's not more that electronic. Like, yeah, I like all that. So you knew any of the new guys like Chronic? No, I don't even know much, but I listen to it if I listen to it, like online. All right. It's changed up. I even see when uh, when fucking uh, Buju got out of prison, man. His first album, man, it was pretty dope. Yeah, yeah. It was, pretty sick. It was good, man. It was good. Yeah. All right, man. All right, man. Welcome to Columbia, man. Yeah, bless up. Respect. Well, love. I'll get to yeah. Jamaica, man, soon next year, probably. Yeah, I gotta yeah. go do my rounds. It's not to go see the beaches and all that. I'm gonna go smoke some herb, go to Bob's, you know, <laughs> birth, where his birthplace or whatever, where he's buried at, smoke some bomb. Out yeah, well, yeah, but enjoy yourself. Yeah, yeah, right. Let me teach you something from Jamaica. I tell a good story, man, back in 1993, 94, when I got out of the service, I used to listen to a lot of reggae music in Berkeley, California. I used to go listen to hip hop shows, and I would kick it with the Rastas out there, man. The Rastas was cool, real Jamaican cats. Smoking bomb ass weed right there in Berkeley, People's Park. Yeah. Back in the day, that's how I have a good connection, man. All right. The Jamaican people, man. Good, good people. Yeah. My best friend in the Marines, his name is Nolan Joseph. You out there, my name from Brooklyn. He's from Flatbush. Good cat, Jamaican, man. He's right. kicking with his Mexican guys. All right. Yeah. Well, yo, we go to the man himself. You don't know. We're in Medellin. Yeah, Medellin. Medellin, but we're like, we're global. Everywhere I go as a Jamaican, people know Jamaica. Whether they speak Spanish or like this cool brother here, you yes. know what I'm saying? 
uh, marine that's now settled down in uh, you know? And I want to teach you something from Jamaica, right? So basically, when you want to tell somebody, like, bless up yourself, you can say, big up yourself. Uh, big up yourself. Yeah, big up yourself. Big so up big up yourself. All right, bro. Peace. Peace. Yeah, bless up. So check it out. What's that YouTube again? Marcus Bird. Marcus Bird. Yeah. B-I-R-D. M-A-R-C-U-S. B-I-R-D. All right. Is the food court down here? Well, there's all over food courts. So. Yeah. yeah I'm just going to grab... On this floor. Yeah. And then there's like the, the cheaper ones downstairs, I think, which is like the Frisbees, the burgers. All and right. Some of the good restaurants. All right, right man. Respect Peace. here. Okay. All right, boss. Bless him. That was pretty cool, man. I'm running into somebody who... He just saw me with my camera and he's like, yo, are you a YouTuber? And I was like, yeah, man, you know. So that's interesting, you get me? And he was telling me there are some other YouTubers here that you might see around the place. So usually when I'm doing this video stuff, I don't run into other people doing it. I've never, so far, I haven't met like a vlogger uh, like me. I know they're around, but I've never run into them. And I haven't seen them at night, like on Friday in the park. But like I said, I'm here for a month. You see me? So most likely I'll run into a vlogger at some point and maybe we can do a collab or I'll find some vloggers online and just collab with them, you know? But it was a good vibe, you know, that raised up my energy. I've been feeling kind of mentally tired. And this is a really nice mall though, you know what I'm saying? Um, look at this. I'm pretty sure this gets lit up at night. It must look fantastic. You know what I mean? Nice size mall here. So the mission right now is to probably try and find something to eat. Journey continues. All right, so I'm seeing something fantastic that I just had to walk over and see. So from the mall right here, we're able to see. Wow, we're able to see outside in Medellin. Whoa. Wow, look at that. Wow. It's like my first real view of the city. <laughs> Look at the sun just like blinking off the building buildings. It's amazing. Yeah, man, big ups, you know? In Medellin, Colombia. You can see the hills and the mountains over there. And... Wow. Yeah, man. Give thanks, you know? Yeah, man, this place is huge, huge, huge place. Tons and tons of stores and stuff, you know. I'd say it's definitely worth checking out if you come into Medellin because. It's just cool, man. You know, lots and lots of stores. I don't know what this is. Let me see what it says. I write secrets. Carlos Alberto. Ole Sobre. Okay, I guess this is like a, a series from a local artist. This is kind of cool. I guess these are like uh, self-portraits. Lo siento. Very interesting, you know, um, again, when you come to these places, every mall has its own way of like, uh, all right, so I'm still at El Tesoro Mall and I just saw this car here. And the reason why this car stands out to me, it's a Grand Vitara, is that for years I drove a Grand Vitara in Jamaica and I haven't seen this new one. This must be the 2020, 2024. Very, very cool, man. It look, it look very, it has like a very luxurious look, you know? And because it's like here on the lot, you can look inside it, you know what I mean? It looks luxurious, looks nice. Very cool, man. 2024 Grand Vitara. I would definitely drive this car. Definitely, like I've never seen a... Never seen a Vitara. Well, I mean, the previous Vitaras looked a little bit more streamlined, but this one looks really good, you know? Just had to drop that in the vlog. All right, gonna get something to eat now. One more time, I have to show you these views, you know? All right, food court now. All right, so the food is here. Now I'm having, I think, a waffle chicken. This is like broccoli and cheese crepe. And mango juice, right? So this was like, this is like $5. It's like two, so the whole meal is like seven. So it's like, this is like a waffle covering the chicken, right? Incredibly tasty. Wow. 
Excellent meal, excellent meal. Really, really good, yeah. It's almost like a cheese soup. But it's not too thick. The cheese is just enough where it's still runny. So everything has a nice, a nice balance to it. It's definitely an excellent meal. I'm gonna show you the name of the place when I come on. Yeah, man, so this is the name of the place. So that's the name of the place, Crepes and Waffles, right? If you're ever in El Tesoro, check it out. I'm gonna head back to Poblado now. Peace. I hear some kind of kids play around around here. Very cool, very cool. Alright, so I'm gonna actually walk back to Poblado. So Poblado is only like 20 minutes away walking, so I decided to walk back. Uh, I don't know where I am, but life's an adventure. My battery's about to die, but more to come soon. As usual, if you like what you see, click like and subscribe, and I will catch you in the next episode. Birdie must in Colombia, don't know. <laughs>